Talk to me about the loss. It's an absolute disgrace. Unacceptable. What's going on, Buff Nation? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be discussing Coach Prime responding to a lot of the flack that he has been receiving. We dropped a video uh, just the other day about Shannon Sharp ripping up Coach Prime and not being disciplined enough. And I said, look, if he does respond, it's going to be probably I agree. And that has been the response as of now to either Stephen A. Smith or just kind of just the hate in general that he has been receiving. But before we get into any of that, let me show you the clip of Stephen A. just shredding Shador Sanders and Coach Prime in the buffs for that loss against Stanford on Friday night. It's an absolute disgrace. Unacceptable. The fact of the matter is Colorado came into this game 13-point um, favorites, okay, and got outscored by a 13-point underdog, 46-14 to 14 in the second half after being up 29 to nothing. They're now 1-3 and three in the Pac-12. Their defense has allowed the second most yards per game at 473.7, Shannon, and the seventh most points per game at 35.9 in all of the entire FBS. I believe that Deion Sanders is a coach. I think he's a hell of a coach. He needs some dogs, as he told us. Mm -hmm. He's about seven or eight dogs away, but here's the problem. The players got caught up in the shine their coach generated, and I'm calling out his son, Shadir Sanders, who I love and I think has star written all over him. But whether it was you or by accident, it was somebody on your social media team, you cannot have something being posted at halftime of a damn game. Tom Brady and your dad already joked with you about what you were driving around with and how you needed to be in the film room. Well, guess what? It is no longer a laughing matter. Y'all are getting your ass kicked. Show up, stand up, because your daddy and to the players on that squad, your coach is as much bravado as he had, as much swag as he had, he was the best on the planet. A big point of emphasis there that Stephen A. Smith said was like, look, these kids think they're prime. They think they're prime time without the work that goes into it. And that's honestly just the world that I think we're living in. It's not happening at Colorado. It's happening all across college football. We just have a microscope currently on, on Colorado and want them to ex excel and do very well. So if anything's go, go awry, we're immediately going to criticize and critique on what they're doing incorrectly. But a lot of kids, again, NIL has opened the door wide open for egos to explode more than they ever have before. And keeping those ego in check is going to be a challenge for everybody. I can assure you, every coach, any which way, is having this issue right now. But another big point, and look, it's a great point for by Stephen A. Smith. We don't know if it was Shador Sanders who posted that during halftime or if it was just some, one part of the media team posting that. Look, it was a little bit of a flex. Here's the thing, though. They win that game. We're kind of laughing, saying, like, look, they knew it, it was done and over with. He's out here posting this during halftime. Again, this this, this kind of th these kind of things have happened before. You hate to see it, but it's just giving the media ammo when things don't go your way. Coach Prime has said it in his speech after the game. Said, "Look, they love you when they love you, but they're gonna hate you when you hate you." And that's what's happening right now. They're getting all the smoke, but look. That is how it goes. Now, he did respond and basically said, look, he's right. Let's move on. Let's keep it moving. That is the only way you can really respond to that, right? If you try to combat it or you try to argue with it, it's it's a it's a lose-lose. How he's handled it and how I thought he would respond to most of this criticism is exactly what I thought he would do. Coach Prime is handling himself exactly, again, per perfectly with this. The next step to handling this situation, though, is when is going out and getting the W, not this week, but the following week after the bye week, bouncing back tremendously and seeing, hey, look, are we going to see a disciplined team? Are we going to see these guys locked in? Are we going to see them dialed in? Are we going to see Coach Prime pressing the hammer from start to finish for the rest of the season? This is, again, this issue of guys being amped up and being focused and being dialed in is not just a Colorado issue. I can assure you, we're just hearing about it because that's all everyone is talking about is Colorado. So for the Buffs fans out there freaking out saying, hey, is he over his head? What's going on? No, he's not at all. If there's anybody that can handle this, that can handle this back and forth, that can handle the egos in a room, it is going to be Coach Prime. Mind you, this was a one-loss team last year with zero talent on that football team. They have came a long way in just a short period of time. I expect these guys to turn around pretty well. I think Shador Sanders, Travis Hunter, those guys are going to have a massive game. And Travis Hunter, in his reaction, which we talked about just the other day as well, said, look, we're, 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 we're focused on winning now. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe. If anything else comes of this, I think this is going to die down without the, as the week goes on. But if there's any more responses or any more jabs from now until then, we'll be sure to have it on here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.